And safety protocol, that's what's every, on everyone's minds right now. If it had been followed, this Hewilho Ferry disaster might have had a drastically different outcome. Right, the passengers and crew of the now second ferry, it's been revealed, did not receive proper emergency training before casting off from Incheon Port. Our Hwang Jihye reports. This is a huge American cruise ship that can carry thousands of passengers. Before leaving port, everyone gathers on the deck for mandatory safety education. They try on life vests and learn how to use them in emergency situations. Passengers also learn how to stay alive if they find themselves in the water, how to get on rescue boats, and even how to use flare guns. The safety education goes on for about an hour. Such efforts come on the heels of major maritime accidents, like the one that capsized the Italian cruise ship Costa Concordia in 2012. While accidents are rare, it's important that cruise lines offer their passengers and crews the highest levels of safety and responsiveness in the event that something does go wrong. Although Korean ships have safety manuals on board safety seminars, such as the ones that take place in the U.S. and other countries are rare. To prevent further cases like this, Hwalho experts say it's critical that authorities take maritime safety issues more seriously and put necessary regulations in place. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.